fantastic job in raising me and my younger sister, and I have fond memories of my childhood. I believe that my amazing childhood plays a part in my strong maternal nature. Yes, I am one of those people who, on seeing a baby, starts talking in a silly voice and acting all mushy. At 23, I met the man of my dreams, Tyler, and we fell in love. We had the most amazing winter wedding and went on a honeymoon to Finland. We both knew that after the wedding, we wanted to complete our family by having kids. After five months of trying to get pregnant, to no avail, I went to the doctors. They ran some tests and told me the devastating news. A problem with my ovaries meant that it was likely that I would never be able to fall pregnant naturally. This news hit me hard, and I became almost unbearable to be around. Whenever I saw a baby, I burst into tears. As much as I adored my friend's little girl and Tyler's little nephew, it was just too painful to be around them. Tyler remained positive, and he convinced me to try IVF. We tried it. Twice. Not only did it use up the majority of our savings, but it also didn't work. Tyler told me once we'd saved up enough money, we could try again. I burst into tears and told him no. Enough was enough. I couldn't put myself through it again. I'd just have to come to terms with the fact that I would never be a mom. Not being able to have kids was devastating, but I knew that I had to carry on with my life, so I threw myself into my work. I stopped getting upset when I saw other babies, and I tried to embrace life. Then something happened to set me back. My 18-year-old sister fell pregnant by accident. I tried to be supportive, but inside, I fell apart. I started snapping at Tyler and was pretty horrible to be around. I didn't understand what I'd done wrong. Why could my little sister fall pregnant without even trying? But I was desperate for a baby, and it wasn't happening. When my little niece Dolly was born, I found it hard to be around her. I tried so hard to be happy for my sister and not show how upset I was, but naturally my mom saw straight through my facade. She led me into the kitchen and made me a mug of hot chocolate with cream, mini marshmallows, and chocolate sprinkles on it, just the way she used to do when I was little. I told her all about how upset I was, that I felt like I was a failure as a woman, and how I'd let Tyler down, as I knew how much he longed to be a father. I loved my sister, and I loved Dolly, but seeing them both was very painful for me, and I was finding myself feeling resentful when I didn't want to be like that. I just feel like my life had been perfect, then it just fell apart. I sobbed out to her. As she wrapped her arms around me and I cried into her shoulder, she asked me something. Have you thought about getting a surrogate? I told her we'd looked into it, but we ran the risk of a surrogate deciding that she wanted to keep the baby. It was a risk I couldn't take, as being that close to having a baby, then having them snatched away from me would have destroyed me. That's when my mom gave me the answer that would change my life forever. Olivia, sweetie, I'll be your surrogate. I remember hugging her tightly and never wanting to let her go. My mom was truly amazing, and because of her, I finally had the chance to be a mom too. I told Tyler, and at first, he was unsure. He was worried that if it went wrong, that it would cause a lot of strain between me and my mom. Eventually, he came around to the idea, and we told the rest of our friends and family what we planned to do. My dad wasn't happy about it at first. He was worried what people would say when they saw his wife was pregnant, but they didn't end up with a baby. My sister was also unsure about it. I guess she found it awkward. Eventually, they both came around and were supportive, as they knew how much this meant to me. The doctors told me that I could use my egg, so it was fertilized in a lab before the embryo was transferred into my mom. Crazy, huh? I know it sounds mad, but at the same time, it's amazing what they can do these days. It also meant that this baby was truly mine and Tyler's. My mom was just, as she put it, keeping the baby warm for nine months. My mom fell pregnant on the first attempt. Then, nine months later, she gave birth to my daughter, Billy, who was the most beautiful thing I have ever set eyes on.
Mine and Tyler's little family is now complete, and it's all down to my amazing mom. I know that Billy will be our only child, as I can't exactly ask my mom to be a surrogate again. As much as I would like to have more kids, I'm okay with it just being me, Tyler, and Billy. I have the perfect little family, and I'm so ridiculously happy. What my mom did changed my life. I will never be able to thank her enough. She truly is amazing. Seeing her with Billy melts my heart. She isn't just the best mom in the world. She is also the best grandma. Please leave a comment with what makes your mom amazing and the reasons why you love her.